Hey everybody, welcome back to Mission Control for another feature focus video. In this video we're going to talk about Move and Dark and Queue Lists. Move and Dark is a way of getting fixtures to automatically preset so that when the dimmer comes up they are already in the correct color, position, etc. Move and Dark will preset all the information in the queue except for dimmer and shapes. This can be either set for the whole queue list under options or on a per queue basis. Move and Dark will happen after the fade time for the queue has completed. For example, if you have a queue fading to black in queue 5 and it comes back on in queue 6 in a different position, you will not need a point queue in between for Move and Dark as a console will wait until the fade down and queue 5 is completed and then move the fixture and in queue 6 it comes up in the new position. Types of Move and Dark, queue number, forces the contents of a queue to preset in a certain queue, queue offset, presets a certain number of queues before, if queues are inserted this offset is preserved, Global, follows the settings defined under the options. Disabled, won't allow this queue to move in dark. Early, the queue will preset as early as possible. Late, preset in the queue before. Move in dark inhibit, this column must you freeze the queue so that no movement in dark can happen during it. This is especially useful if you're running a theater show and you want to have no fixture of movement noise during the scene. Move in dark fade and delay, this says you set a separate fade and delay for moving dark time for each queue. So let's take a look at that. So let's have a look. Here we are in version 15 of Titan on the Titan Go interface. You can see here I've got a queue list with nine queues in it. So if we were to bring it up and hit go, we can see our first queue, our second queue, where our BMFLs fade out, and they come back on in a new position in queue three, and they fade out in queue four, we have some other lights come on in Q5, they change in Q6, in Q7, 8, and 9, our BM felts come back on. So if we go to the options menu for this Q list, and we're going to change our move in dark to early, and we exit out, and we'll see when we hit go on our Q list, we can see that our BM felts fade out. And in Q3, they come on in a new position. It didn't sweep across the stage. Hit go again. See, they fade out. And these lights come on in a new position. And they switch to here. And they change, they change, they change. And our BFLs come on in a new position and did not sweep across the stage again. And we see that when we fade out in Q2 for our BMFLs, we see as soon as it fades out, our fixtures move to their new position, so when they come on, they're already pointed in the right place. And the same thing happens here, as soon as they fade out, they move. Just watch closely in the Capture Visualizer. I'll do it through it again. As soon as the fade out happens, the fixtures move, and they come on in their new position. So we're going to change the option back to off. So if we want to do it on a per queue basis, we can go ahead and on Q3 here, we'll go ahead and turn it on from global to early. Now when we bring up our fader and we hit go, see our lights come on and they fade out in two. As soon as it finish fades out completes, they move the position and we hit four, they come on pointing where they are. But if we go down to our next ones, you can see that they still move. Go ahead and change this one back to global. And on this queue, we'll change it to late. So when we hit go here, we see our lights fade out. Again, they come back on and they sweep. We hit go again. We see they fade out, but notice that they don't move yet. They will move when we get to Q8. We go to Q5, 6, 7. When we go to Q8, we'll notice that the BMFLs now moved. They're ready in position to come up in Q9. If we change this from late to Q number, we can tell we specifically want it to move in Q6, let's say. So now when we go through our Q list here, we can see that our back to our Q1 look, our Q2 look, a Q3 where they do sweep because we set that back to global. When they fade out here, 
When we go to Q5, we notice that our BMFLs don't move. And we hit go here, we'll see that they do move in Q6. And we get back down here to Q9, and they come on again as expected. Again, if we'd used Q offset, and we told it we wanted it to go two Qs before. So now when we go through, again, they fade out in Q4, and they will come on in Q, they will, excuse me, move in Q7. Let's say move in seven. So if we were to insert a Q, let's say we'll take our dimmers and we'll turn them on and we'll record Q 8.1. Hit record. We see that we now have a Q in between. So we'll hit clear. We'll go all the way around again. Again, they fade out in two, come back on in three, fade out in four. They should come on in Q8 now rather than seven because we put a Q in between. Q on seven, they don't move, but they do move in eight. And again, they come on as expected in Q9 in the correct position. For the move and dark inhibit, we used to know that we had it moving during eight. If we wanted to specifically not have it move during Q8 uh, and have it move during Q7 instead, we do is go ahead and click on our inhibit and turn it on. And now when we play back our Q list, See that we go through, fixtures fade out in four, and then when we get to Q7, we'll notice that they move during Q7 to be ready to come back on in Q9 in their proper place. Move dark, fade and delay. Let's say that in Q3 here, we wanted to delay one second after this fade out is finished here to start and take three seconds to make the move of the uh, fixtures rather than doing it as quickly as possible. So maybe slower, uh, less noise. We're going to enter that. And then we'll go ahead and set it from global to early. Now, when we go ahead and fire our key list, our BFLs come on. They fade out in Q2. And then they will delay one second and then started a three-second fade to move into their position to come on in Q3. So now when we hit go, we see that they come on in their correct position and new colors. So that has been Move in Dark on version 15 of Titan. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe. Join us on Facebook at Avalites US, and join us here next time. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.